Hey gang, it's Kim. Uh, this video, I want to show you just a little bit of my um, nail art. Uh, before, well, when I started doing my own nails, um, I started following a lot of nail art artists. Um, I guess my um, my biggest inspiration for nail art itself, using um, polishes and uh, acrylic paints and stuff, would be Robin Moses. Um, she inspires me a lot. Uh, Cute Polish is another that she just does some of the most adorable stuff. Um, Jaquel with Love for Nails. Um, she does some really really elegant stuff. Um, along with uh, Nikki from Absolute Nails. Um, more, her art is more um, in the acrylic itself. So, um, as with uh, Kelly with Totally Cute Nails, hers is more in the acrylic as well. So, I want to start with that and just show um, a little bit of my acrylics that I mixed myself. So, um, the lighting is a little rude. I don't know if you can see these. I hope you can see this. So this is like a yellow, um, like a yellow, I don't even know how to explain it. Like a sunset almost. Like a, I think I named it Tropical Sunset. Um, so, this is what I keep my acrylics in, um, the ones that I've already mixed. So this yellow one right here is, yeah, Tropical Sunset Yellow. And you'll see them in here um, already mixed. And it's got some orange and some yellow. That's super cute. Uh, the next one is... I want to say it's Barbie's bedroom. No, that's this one next to it. This uh, pink and white one here. I hope you can see that. Okay, pink and white here is this one here. I called it Barbie's bedroom because I just thought it was so cute. Um, next is Tea Party, which is this one. Oh, I hope you can see that right here. Tea Party. And it's this one here. And then we have um, Pretty Princess. Now this one has a little bit of blue, a little bit of pink, a little bit of iridescent holographic. And it's here. You can see the colors way better inside here, I think. And then next we have uh, Florida Keys. This one I did um, for my sisters because my sisters live down in Florida and I wanted something that kind of reminded me of Florida and I, I thought of the blue water and the pink flamingo, flamingos and I love flamingos so this is that one that's Florida Keys uh, next one is Stargazer it's a black it's a black um, glitter with silver and you get the black with little bits of silver in there. It looks like the night sky. The next one didn't turn out quite the way I wanted. It's called Santa Monica Boulevard. And it turned out like this, which is actually prettier than it looks here, I'm sure. Um, it's got bits of copper and pink and, um, let's see, get in the light here. A um, little bit of blue, you know, light blue. So that's that side, real quickly. Um, I'll just go through this and you can kind of see these. Sorry, there's a bug flying around my face. So, and then we'll just quickly go through the, the colors here. Okay, this one is Sweet Diva. This one's really nice. It's um, kind of a coral. Uh, peachy, real bright, real brilliant. Um, let's see, do I have the... I don't think I have the... Oh, yes, I do. Okay. 
So here's the sample of, of that one on the tip here. That's this one. That's what that looks like. And then the one next to it is what's on the bottom, which is I called Cambria, which is like my favorite place on earth. Oh my goodness. Such a charming little town. So yeah, those look really pretty. Even together, they look pretty. Um, then we have Hollywood Starlet. This has some gold tinsel in it. Um, that's all it has is the gold holographic tinsel and it it looks okay, um, but I think for me it needs to be buffed out just a little more maybe here. And then I have Emerald City, which is a deep green. I have Cha-Ching, which is a lighter green. I have Ruby Slippers, which is a bright red, sparkly, and one of my favorites, hot cocoa. So those turn out really, really nice. Um, hopefully you got to see them all on the wheel. Okay, so that was that wheel. This um, next wheel is a Robin Moses wheel. Um, this is just some of the stuff that I've done, um, that I've duplicated of hers. And it's just, uh, you know, just random little little doodities. Um, I have someone who actually wants this done soon. And then this one was one of my favorites. Oh my goodness, the little ladybugs. I'm a ladybug fanatic. Um, so yeah, ladybugs always make me happy. This one I thought was really, really pretty. I think Robin's design was a slightly different than this, but I kind of made it, tried to make, I try to make make these my own. Um, I don't always succeed in that, but I try. Um, this one I thought was super, super cute, and it was actually love, and it was across all four uh, fingers. It was super cute. This one is my absolute favorite by her. It's Shattered Glass. And this one, I think I pretty much rocked that one out. It looks pretty good. And then I have Lips this one was really nice this one I was really impressed that I could get once I trimmed down my brushes and made them um, you know where they would work for me like this one let's see okay so that's literally like three hairs <laughs> three maybe four hairs it's T90 and um, this is my striping brush that I made for myself. It's really short. It's not very long, but um, it gets the job done. It does some great detail work for me, especially like the little wispy lines and and uh, and those. And then this is another brush that I really really like. This one here. This one's super nice. Um, gives me a lot of. Uh, a lot of nice fill for small spaces so that's nice okay so back to this where we oh we were here so I was really impressed that I could get that kind of detail I don't know if you can see it but that's like serious detail there and it's one of those dandelion um, you know after they die or whatever yeah so there's that and then this one this was my first art wheel. <laughs> I think I went crazy with it. Okay, so please forgive the crude Batman. He looks terrible. He had a bad day in Gotham City. So so then we have Superman, Wonder Woman, who is my absolute favorite. She's my hero. Woo -woo. Uh, who is this guy? Green Lantern. This turned out amazing. Look, uh, Let's see. Hopefully it won't go blurry. The Spidey. I love that Spider Man. It's so cool. Um, X Men, the Marvel logo, Punisher, Phoenix, uh, Cyclops. Um, I 
just one of my things just fell off. Wolverine, Captain America, Aquaman, right here. Uh, Archangel. Who's that? Oh, Hulk. The Flash and DC. That one didn't turn out too well, but whatever. We have fun with it. Okay, so the next ones, I'm just going to put them in frame. I'm just going to talk briefly about them. This is a mint green with a silver glitter tip, which was okay. I mean, it's pretty, pretty, uh, I keep forgetting you're at a different angle than me. Sorry, gang. Okay, there you go. So it's a mint green with a silver tip. Um, these have been really been put through the ringer. They were in a book and then they were on sticks and blah, blah, blah. And okay, this is one of my little favorites. I love this one. I want these for Valentine's Day. If I can get it turned over, I can't do anything with these long nails. Okay, there's my kisses. Aren't those cute? And then this is a blue rose. And let's see. This is just a purple whatever. It's I was just tinkering. I do that a lot. And then um this one is my cream sickle. I love that one. I love that color. Now keep please keep in mind these have gotten beat up really bad. Um I need to make some new ones. This is my purple and gold water marble. Then I have this water marble, purple, white, and blue. And then I have this teal one, which I thought was super cute. Okay, and then I have cherry blossoms. Let me get in frame. Let's see what other flowers do I have. Oh, this one um, was Robin Moses inspired. So was the blue rose. This one is Robin Moses inspired, I believe. No, 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 no. Uh, Love for Nails. Uh, Jack Hill inspired that one. I believe. Forgive me if I get your names wrong or confused. I watch a lot of videos. I My life is YouTube, okay? So. Um, this one got really banged up. <laughs> Oops. There's this one and this one. Let's see. Oh, and here's my vintage roses. This one's one of my favorites. I actually took this and I, I scrapbook. So this one um, I took and did the roses on. And then, um, let me see if I can get it, Ooh, get it closer so you can see the detail in it. So I did the roses on this, and then I went back and antiqued it with some brown paint and just kind of kissed it with a sponge around the edges to make it look, you know, like how you antique cards or whatever when you scrapbook. So that's one of my favorites, and I have this one and this one. And I'm just going to start putting these down, and you guys can just take a look at these and... Hopefully, I'll keep it all in frame. And there's those. Um, that butterfly one didn't turn out very well. This one I was actually going to wear to my stepdaughter's baby shower, and I ended up not doing my nails for that event. Um, I wasn't feeling too well. This is pink lace. This is a texture, which is just a plain, just some plain texture. Um... Let's see. Oh, this one's cute. My little tiger. Tiger stripes. Um, then I have... This one is... I think it's a... This is a knitting pattern. I forget what it's called, but it's a type of knitting pattern. For you knitters out there, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, here's another like, cheetah print. And there's that one. And this one was supposed to be a starfish. Okay, I suck at starfishes. So, starfishes? Starfish. <laughs> okay, I need to go back to school. Okay, so there's 
this one. And we're almost done. Hang in there with me. We're almost done. And there's that one. I'm just slow because I'm having a hard time putting them down. This one is a Robin Moses inspired and I totally like failed. But, you know, it's just I just have to practice more. That's all. And there's that one. Okay. All right, there's this one, which I love. Everybody likes this one. I think it's cute, and I do too. I hope you can see that. There we go. This towel doesn't want to cooperate with me. I think this I think this one was Jaquel inspired. It might have been Robin Moses. I don't know. They're both so talented. Um, there's this one. This one, and this one has, um, this one I believe, does that have, no, I thought it had glitter in the acrylic, but it doesn't, it's, um, it's in the paint, so, okay, so I tried 3D, <laughs> I was told this looked like Cheerios, Isn't that hysterical? That was my first lame attempt at 3D. Yeah, that's garbage. Um, here's my second attempt at 3D. It was a half flower. It's a little better, but eh, I still don't care much for it, whatever. <laughs> but I'm my own worst critic, right? There's this one, which I thought was really pretty. It's got the glittery tip. Okay. This one I called Wrap It Up because it looks like it's wrapped around the nail. Just so you know, this up here just represents the natural nail. That's um, that's why a bunch of these are painted like that because um, the nails were white on the back. So I wanted like uh, to see what it would look up against the natural nail bed. So these are just tips when they're done like that. Um, another water marble that got beat up. This one was a weird 3D one. I was trying to do, uh, oh, what is her name? Mystique Skin from X-Men. That didn't work. This one is in high demand. I have so many people that ask me to do this one. And I'm actually going to do a tutorial on this one because everybody was like, we want to see you do this. We want to see how you do it. And this one I did on one of my clients and it was absolutely fantastic. This one is one of my favorites. I did this for myself. Um, you'll probably, if you look on my Facebook page, <clears throat> um, Studio 13, you'll see, you'll probably have to go through my personal Facebook page, which is um, Kim Alexander. So in order to find it, because it's, I hear it's really hard to find it because there's like a bazillion Studio 13s. So I was going to the movies to go watch X-Men. And I did a popcorn. Isn't that cute? And I actually have a movie reel. It's only got like like five or six nails on it, I think. I think it's only five or six. Um... Let me see. I think it's, I think it's here. Hang on. Oh, here it is. Okay. So it just has a few on it. Um, just some cute stuff. Movie reel, the clicker thing, um, popcorn, soda pop. It's got the straw and the little bubbles. Hot dogs, onion rings, and messy nachos. So... <laughs> And then these are my wedding ones. These are my bridal nails. These are like really cute. A lot of these are, they're just pretty much basic. Um, you know, just, that's that. Okay, so if Robin Moses is watching this, I want you to know that you inspired me to attempt faces and apparently I epically suck at it like really suck at it 
So I decided who better than to paint than um, the nail guru herself, Miss Robin Moses. And I ask that you forgive me ahead of time. Um, it's pretty rough. I don't do faces, but there you go, Miss Robin. <laughs> know that I love you and I think you're amazing and if it weren't for you I wouldn't have come out of my my comfort zone um, you seriously pulled me out of a really dark place and this is my homage to you so that's for you Robin <laughs> so just a few more um, I've got like I don't know eight more here I did this one of my cat right after I did that one this is my kitty Christopher he's the love of my life He's so awesome. Well, he's not the love of my life, but I love him a lot. There's this. This was the, my first attempt at getting glitter into acrylic. So, yeah, that one was a big failure. Again, I do love ladybugs. Look at that. Isn't she cute? Um, there's this one with the little rhinestones down the center. Um, this one is my quilt. I thought that was cute. Uh, my galaxy. This was um, inspiration by Cute Polish. So I liked that one. I must learn to do shorter videos. So some purple roses. I think that was uh, inspired by Robin Moses as well. This one, I don't remember who inspired this one. I want to say it was Cute Polish, but it may not have been. So if I if you see any of your designs on here, I just want to thank you, whoever inspired me. <laughs> um, this is a Robin Moses. Thought that one was pretty cool. And there's this one, which is super cool. I like this one. This is a Robin Moses as well. This is also a Robin Moses. It's my version of her lace, pink lace one that she did. Okay, two more. This one I just epically failed at. I don't know what that was, Robin. I'm sorry. Forgive me. This one is very unique. Okay, so I'm not going to tell you what this is. So I want you to list in the comments below and tell me if you can figure out what this material is that is on this nail. I love this nail. It's so unique, so different. I've never seen one like it, so. Okay, so yeah, you've, I mean, you've pretty much seen, here's my little patriotic, I don't even know what that is. Just, my daughter's home from church. Okay, so that's it. All right, much love. Bye.